Well, search and rescue dogs can be the difference between life and death. Today, trainers and their canine companions came from around the country to Virginia Beach. And tending your sides, Madalena Valores visited a special kind of emergency response training today. So what was this training like? It was very detailed. They had many different things that they did at the training center, but it was just amazing to watch these dogs running through piles of rubble like it was just no big deal. But the trainers told me that it really wasn't a big deal to the dogs, and those piles of rubble are almost like their playgrounds. The dogs know that they have to find something, and they do. They just don't know that the stakes are much higher than a game. Up and down concrete blocks, smelling their way to their goal, a person hidden in the rubble. The barks are their sound of victory. These dogs are trained to use their nose to find a scent source that they cannot see and they cannot hear. The barks tell the trainers that the canines found their prize. And in emergency situations, that prize is a person, dead or alive. So when you hear the annoying barking, above you. That means we're coming for you. We're, we're going to get you out. The training was coordinated by Superfit Canine, a group from Philadelphia that brought the 36 trainers and their canines together for two days of teaching and learning. Uh, we volunteer our time. We don't get paid for what we do because we just have this passion. On Tuesday, their training included searching for people in three giant piles of rubble and rappelling down a four-story building. They say using the Virginia Beach Fire Training Center challenges the trainers and their canines. I'm amazed every day I go to training. I'm amazed that the dogs can climb the rubble, they can leap these voids that we couldn't even possibly think of. The trainers hail from 17 states. Many are part of FEMA urban search and rescue teams. They've been deployed across the country following Hurricane Matthew, the Amtrak train derailment in Philadelphia, Hurricane Katrina, and more. Their goal every time, bring as many people home as possible. Our job is to make sure everybody comes home. Their training session continues tomorrow. They'll be treating canines who are injured in search and rescue operations and teaching their trainers how to do those situations. I'm Marielana Valores, 10 on your side.